Good morning, St. Pius, and welcome to your morning announcements. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Ben. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Casimir. When nobles in Hungary had become dissatisfied with their king, they prevailed upon Casimir's father, the king of Poland, to send his son to take over the country. The army he was supposed to lead was clearly outnumbered by the enemy. At the advice of his officers, Casimir decided to return home. His father was irked at the failure of his plans and confined his 15-year-old son for three months. The lad made, never made up. Er, the lad made up his mind never again to become involved in the wars of his day, and no amount of persuasion could change his mind. He returned to prayer and study, maintaining his decision to remain celibate even under pressure to marry the emperor's daughter. He reigned briefly as king of Poland during his father's absence. He died of lung trouble at 23 while visiting Lithuania, of which he was also Grand Duke. He was buried in Lithuania. Next week, we will begin the school-wide novena to St. Joseph on Wednesday the 9th. Mrs. S. will be taking any interested students interested in going to the Sisters of St. Francis to help sort supplies for their mission trips, Monday, March 7th and March 14th, from right after school to around 6 p.m. Sign-up sheets will be in the cafeteria on the bulletin boards, or you can talk to Mrs. Hess for more information. Students can earn three hour service hours per, per trip. To all young women interested in being part of the cheerleading squad, there will be a meeting in Mrs. Gamina's room on seminar during, on Thursday the 17th during the second half of seminar. <laughs> awesome. Come and see the spring production rumors today at 7, tomorrow at 7, and on Saturday at 2, which will be a matinee. And general admissions are $5. Cast and crew, picture order forms are available from Megan Hayden. After enjoying some laughter at the spring play tonight, come out to Midnight Madness starting at 10 p.m. and in the big gym. The cost to get in is $2 or a pair of gently worn kid shoes. Come and support the girls basketball road to state tomorrow at 6 p.m. at Lee Summit High School. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah that was Happy birthday today to Kelsey Winklejohn and over the weekend to Howard Scott. Today's lunch is toasted cheese ravioli and mozzarella sticks. Now we go to Marie Brancato for today's story. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, St. Pius. This is Marie Brancato. Last Wednesday, the debate team competed in a tournament. Here to talk about that and the team itself are some students from the team. The debate team at St. Pius competed on Wednesday the 24th. The team was defeated but continues to grow. Nolan and Tommy talked about their team and as well as the tournament. So yesterday's was a little bit difficult for, for us. We had some hard competitors and as a school we actually didn't do too great but this year has been pretty good um, and overall I'd say the debate team has gotten a lot better. This is my first year of debating. It's a lot of fun and it, it's not as hard as it might seem. Yeah, I'd like to see a lot of people come out too. It's, it's really, it's not that hard and it's a lot of fun. Vanessa explains more about why she likes debate. For debate, we meet um, in seminar in Mr. Gardner's room. And basically, it's just a group of kids that uh, just argue with each other and just spew a bunch of facts and it's a lot of fun. Have a great day, St. Pius. <laughs>